Starting school for the first time is a really important, exciting stage for any family, both for the child and for the parents. It can be an anxious time, but it really mustn't be. And it is important that parents, if they do feel a little bit worried, that they don't transmit this anxiety to their child so that the transition from home to school can be smooth and comfortable and a happy period. And this means making sure the child is ready to start school, has all the skills in place that he or she is going to need, and so is prepared for school. And here parents have a fantastically good opportunity to show the skills that they already have and they should feel confident because they are the, in fact the experts on their child and they are the best people to help their child get ready for that most important start at school proper at age approaching five. Apart from making the start seeming pleasant and happy and fun, there are a number of other very important reasons why preparing for school by parents for their child is a really good idea. First of all, coping well in school from the start makes for better progress throughout school life. Child will settle in emotionally much better if they're well prepared in advance for what they're going to meet, what they're going to expect to do. They can deal with problems better themselves and they can make friendships more easily. Secondly, to do with learning, preparing for more formal learning later on, preschoolers who develop good letter and sound awareness are going to go on to have far fewer reading problems when they go to school. Furthermore, preschoolers who learn how to make friends also are likely to have far fewer psychological problems than those who have difficulties in making friends. Children who have problems with friendships can either internalise them, become anxious and worried, or externalise them in the way of showing behaviour problems. They become perhaps the class clown because they're unhappy and they don't know how to relate to other people well, so they take it out in another way. Furthermore, preschoolers who learn to listen and to behave well will find it easier to fit in at school. They can respond properly to what the teachers are expecting them to do. They can take in the information. Teachers feel that they're doing a good job themselves because they feel the child is valuing what they're doing. The child wants to learn and they are in the position to help. So here are some very good reasons why Preparing in advance for school is such an important thing for all parents to do with their child. So how do you as a parent get your child ready to make a successful and happy start to their new school? Well, there are lots of things that you can do and it really isn't as difficult as you might think. You don't have to wait to leave it to the experts, the teachers. There is loads that you can do. First of all, we think that you really need to know what the skills are that your child needs to have in place by the time they start school. It's quite a long list, but it's, it's not too bad. The main areas that you might think of covering, and which we cover in our book Prepare Your Child for School and Top Tips for Starting School, are self-care, which is about being able to look after yourself in the toilet, eating and dressing, behaviour, doing what you're told, and understanding the rules of a school, Social, being able to relate to other children and to teachers, making friends of course. Emotionally, dealing with new situations such as starting school of course. Um, separating from parents, that's a big one because parents can feel quite anxious about letting their child go for the first time. Attention and concentration so that your child can follow what the teachers are telling them and can actually take in the information and learn. Spoken language so that the child can communicate and understand what other people are saying to him or her. Reading, which is about developing pre-reading skills. Number, understanding the background to formal language, a uh, number work. Understanding concepts such as size and shape. And writing, pre-writing skills, developing pencil control, learning to draw and 
to paint at the same time. So there is a wide area of skills. Now secondly, it's important to understand how children develop, because not all children develop at exactly the same rate. And there is a very wide range of what is normal in young children, and some will just catch up a little bit later on. So this is something that we have worked hard on in helping you to understand how you might be able to understand your children's skills. The other reason why it's important to look at these aspects is to make sure you can prevent any common later problems. If you take action early as a parent, the difficulties are not going to be there. You can stop them before they start. And that's why if you know about what the areas are, this will be so much easier.